Hi everyone! Today we're diving into some seriously powerful macOS features that most people don't use, and perhaps don't even know exist. Let's jump right in. Want to feel like a Mac wizard? Hot Corners let you trigger actions just by moving your cursor to any screen corner. Here's the secret. Open up System Preferences and select Desktop and Dock. Click on Hot Corners down in the bottom right corner and assign actions to each corner, like locking the screen or showing the desktop. Plus, you can combine this with modifier keys to make it tougher to trigger them accidentally. Next up are Quick Actions. The Quick Actions menu is like having a Swiss Army knife for your files. Depending on the type of file, you can rotate and convert images on the fly, convert files to PDF, even run custom automator workflows. You can manage the actions that are available in the Customize menu. Moving on, ever wish you could undo changes to a document from three hours ago? Well, now you can. The Revert To feature is like having a time machine built into every document. Select File, Revert To from the top menu to bring up a version history that's very similar to time machine backups you might already be familiar with. This works the same way. Just browse through previous versions to find what you've lost. Restore any past version with the click. Or you can copy only what you need out of an old version. And then paste it into the current version without having to restore the whole file. No more panic attacks over accidental deletions. Note that this will work with most of the Apple software, plus some other third-party apps. When apps freeze, and yes, it happens even on Macs, here's your escape route. Press Command Option Escape to bring up a list of all the apps that are running, then select the app that's frozen and click Force Quit. Simple, fast, and way better than restarting your whole system. And if that frozen app happens to be the finder, you can kill and relaunch that from here too. Stop wasting time opening files just to peek inside. Hit spacebar in any selected file for an instant preview. This will work with images, PDF files, documents, even music and videos. This is seriously one of those, how did I live without this features? And while you're quick looking, you can use the arrow keys to switch the view to preview other files in the same folder. And you can also delete and rename files that you're previewing by using the normal key combos while the file is being previewed. So it's a great way to sift through a folder of photos to find the ones you want to keep. Time to declutter your Safari browsing experience with a feature that's brand new to macOS Sequoia. Click on the Reader Mode icon in the address bar and choose Hide Distracting Items. Then click on any ad or other page element that you'd like to hide. It feels kind of satisfying and it has a cool little animation when things get the ax. However, the actions aren't sticky, so those page items will all show up again the next time you visit that page. And while it's not new, Safari's reader mode is still a wonderful way to escape from all those ads and read your articles in peace. Ready for some Mac secrets? Press Shift Command period to reveal hidden files and folders in Finder. Perfect for advanced troubleshooting and accessing system files such as the library folder and those hidden configuration files. Just press Shift Command period a second time to hide those files and folders once again when you're through. And while we're in Finder, let's make it even easier to get to your files and apps. Start by dragging your important folders to the Favorites sidebar to make them always just a click away. A great way to launch apps is to drag the Applications folder onto the dock so that you're always just a single click away from seeing a full list of all your available apps. While you can copy and paste files using Command C and Command V, macOS strangely does not use Command X to cut files like a lot of folks are used to in Windows. To move a file, start by copying the file with Command C 
and then press Option Command V in the destination folder to move the file instead of copy. Likewise, when dragging and dropping a file, it may show a green plus to indicate the file is being copied, but pressing the Command key while dragging will remove the green plus and transform that action from a copy into a move. So there you have it, nine game-changing tips that'll make you a Mac power user. If you found this useful, smash that like button and hit subscribe for more Mac tips and tricks. Drop a comment letting you know which feature surprised you the most. Start using those tips today and watch your productivity soar.